Hey guys! Welcome to the Dampier Archipelago. Well, currently Dampier, and we're on our way out to the yep. archipelago. It's out there somewhere. Yeah, somewhere out there. We slept um, Carafa this morning, we drove out here to Dampier, saw Red Dog. Yes. Dude was very excited to meet Red Dog. Very excited, it was adorable. Um, and we have heard nothing and seen nothing about Dampier Archipelago. We've done some research though, it sounds amazing. They talk about the most uh, prolific marine life yep. anywhere in yep. WA uh, and the highest concentration of indigenous artifacts and artwork. So we're hoping to set eyes on some of that as well. Should be good, stay tuned. Yeah. Check this guy out. We've finally got a decent Spanish in the boat. It's taken so long. It is a happy, so happy long. day. <laughs> in and we made the decision to fill it up here thinking there would be a filleting station but there is not so just pulled our table out and Ben's working hard and dude is living his best life. Yeah. Yeah 105 centimeters was it 110? Yeah so pretty proud frankly. This has been a good day on the water. Spanish mackerel. We caught this guy what do you reckon, two hours ago. He's been on ice in the fridge ever since. In the well, esky. Bit of soy. Bit of wasabi. Pretty good. Mm. You'd be pretty happy to get that at a restaurant, I reckon. Pretty tasty. Dampier Peninsula. Uh, we're trying. Archipelago. Sorry, damn it, Dampier Archipelago. We're trying very hard not to catch any big fish today. We have a fridge full of a single mackerel, so yeah. we don't need any actual meat. But no. yeah, we'll fish for a bit of sport. We'll explore. Yeah. We didn't manage to find any of the sort of Aboriginal artwork and carvings and petroglyphs that are supposed to be out here yesterday. So we'll try a little bit more of that today. Yeah. It's a bit hard with dude though because he's not allowed ashore. So he's always a problem. Oh yeah, it's a perfect day. There's probably about 150 boats at the ramp. Um, yeah, the place is chockers, there's trailers everywhere, there's people being muppets. Yeah, so it should be a fun day. Everyone has obviously got the same idea. We just pulled into this little bay to have a look around. We're going to stop and have a cup of tea. And there's some turtle tracks on the beach over there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is the turtle nesting season, right at the start of, so... Yeah. Speaking of turtles, there's one there, that dark patch. He's only a little fella. There's two sets of turtle tracks on this island and they're both quite different. I'm wondering if it's different species. Looks like this is where the nest is. The trail comes straight up here and back out from the same spot. Just 
Bron's got this awesome long time. Look at him, he's what? huge. <laughs> he's huge. He is. He's a monster. He's Look a at monster. that. Now we're going to put him back because A, I'm not sure about the eating qualities of these guys and B, um, we have a fridge absolutely full of Spanish mackerel. We do. We're slimy. The sky is dusk, you are bold. He was a fun fish to catch too, wasn't he? Great to catch. He's my new favourite fish to catch. Really? He's good. Yes. Like he didn't, he didn't make you want to die, cat pulling him in. <laughs> and a good show on the surface, yes. like good splashing. No, it was good fun. Lunch time. Yum. We're on a tiny little sand bank in the middle of this bay and the tide's still got about half an hour to come in I think we better eat quickly because mm -hmm. it's right there and there what's for lunch Bron? Oh, Spanish mackerel obviously because that's all we're eating at the moment but for the next two weeks yeah Ben has made some ceviche Spanish mackerel um, and we've just got some lettuce and tomato on cross goods the greatest lunch biscuit of all time. Um, hurry up! It's so good. Not the lettuce. The lettuce is really lame. I shouldn't have put that in my mouth. <laughs> Why did you do that? Yeah. Who's this person using an actual cutlery and utensils? I gotta say, it's hard work. Cutlery and utensils are way overrated. Look at that. So good! <laughs> hey guys Hi, we're at one of our last stops, Murujaga National Park, I mm. think it said, um, but happy to be corrected. And it's up on the Barrett Peninsula near Dampier. It's really culturally significant. Along here, we'll try and pick some out, but in amongst these rocks are some of the over a million rock carvings and artifacts left in the area um, from the Aboriginal people who lived here. So if you think of that in terms of what that means, 7,000 years ago was when the coastline became what it was. 40,000 years ago where from some of these engravings and mm. artifacts are from. bread and damper yeah so this stuff's been here for thousands of generations they say which is just phenomenal I know I keep saying that but my mind is just not able to wrap itself around what we're seeing here today one of the major concerns of the Aboriginal owners of this land is the fact that you've got all of this um, history and artifacts and link to their past on one side and then it's surrounded on the other by industrial works and gas plants and mine sites and the acid rain is damaging these images and it's just heartbreaking to think that they might not be here in the future. 
thank you so much for joining us today. That is the end of our Dampier Burrup mm. Peninsula Adventure. Yep. What a stunning, stunning place. I don't think I had any idea. Unexpectedly fun, interesting and cool yeah. in the Caratha Dampier area. Yeah, and Caratha was lovely. Um, yeah. After Port Hedland we were expecting more of the same, but it was a really lovely town. Yep. Um, Dampier, Dampier Archipelago. Um, super cool. Super cool, super fun. If you've got a boat, ooh, yeah, if you've got, got to hang out out here. Yeah, um, and then the Peninsula, Burrup Peninsula as well, just with yeah. the Aboriginal history and artwork and artifacts here, 40,000 years, thousands of generations yeah. tracked back to people who live here now mm. and work on the land now. Just incredible. Yeah, my mind is completely blown. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this one. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.